Hello everyone! Today we're going to learn about sessions in Express. We're going to build a small Express application which uses Express sessions. And we're going to see what this application does by building a small Angular client. But I'm going to focus more on the Express session application. So, let's get started! First of all, we have a very simple application. This application just uses Express as you're used to usually. And you just create the new Express app. And we have a route. And we listen on port 3000. Now what's new, of course, is the Express session. It's Express session, Express hyphen session is the package name. And we can use it by running app.use session with a secret and we also have to provide resave and save uninitialized options, but don't worry about those now. And then we have this very simple route which lives at slash API. And what it does is if there is a session with page views, it says you have visited the page n times, because it always increases this session counter, or else it just says welcome to the page for the first time. Now we're gonna run this. Oh, this will be step one. And you can see it running on port 3000 at slash API. And you see as you increase this it counts up the counter. Now, if I open it, for example, in incognito mode, then you can see we are fresh again. And now, like, um, I've visited it six times here, but here I've visited it, like, 15 times. So, what we can see is that this express session, it actually has a way to figure out who the client is. So if it provides me with a new session, it's, it, what, what's happening behind the scenes is that it sends a cookie to the browser. The browser then stores the cookie and on a subsequent request, for example, this would be a subsequent request, this would be a subsequent request, it checks which client is it that's, that's making the request and then it checks the session for this client. But all of this cookie magic, this is happening behind the scenes. That's that what might you confuse a little bit at first. You just see session here, but you don't see anything about, oh, but which client don't they have to need to know? Well, Express Session is handling this. And you see it pretty much works out of the box. That's the first contact with Express Session. It's quite powerful. We have working sessions for different clients. Now what's happening is in the second step, we'll just compare it to the first step by using git diff. Like this, we can exactly see what has changed. Oh, that was the second and the third. So this is second step versus first step. We see we've changed quite a lot of things here. At first, what we've changed is we have added cores. This is required because our front end is running on port 4736 while the backend is running on port 3000 and since it's not running on the same root URL we will need CORS. CORS stands for Cross Origin Resource Sharing and that's exactly what we do. We have different origins and we want to share resources that's why we need to set up CORS. We've also added the body parser what this does is 
when we send a post request, for example, from the front end to the back end, it has a payload and this payload is a JSON and it's called the body of the request and we need to be able to parse this body. Express by itself is not able to parse this body and this is what body parser does. So that's why we require, why we require this here. Then next what we have is we have some hard-coded hard -coded users. For example, we have max at gmail.com and we have lily at gmail.com. Now I've saved some passwords for those users here. Of course, you shouldn't do this in a real application. You should always hash the passwords. And um, now maybe let's check what this actually would look like, this front end. So I'm going to start it like this. It's, this is a small Angular application, but it doesn't need to carry too much. Okay, it's already running actually. Ooh, here. Yeah. So this is running at port 4736, we said. And this is our small application. So what it can actually do is um, it can log in, but it cannot log out yet, for example, or we cannot get like an account balance or things like that. But you see already, if I refresh, I'm still logged in. This has to do with the sessions. How exactly did we achieve this with the sessions? We achieved this with this code. So first what we did, what you saw is we logged in into the application. Um, this is happening, well first maybe you're interested in what's this validate payload middleware. This just checks that my request actually has a body. Then if it has, it's just going to call next, so it's going to continue with this function. Otherwise it aborts and sends a 403. If you don't know what this middleware does here exactly, I strongly recommend you to read about express middlewares. It's quite a useful concept and in order to understand this tutorial you'll need to understand express middlewares. So anyways, what we're testing here is first if, the, if there is a user and the user provided a password, so in this request body we have a password, and it matches the password of the user which we are getting from the database here and uh, by database I'm just meaning our small hard-coded users here so if we find this user and the passwords match then we continue into this block and for now we didn't do anything related to to sessions at all we just checked do the passwords match if yes continue but nothing related to session here but then what will happen is that here in the in this block I set request.session and re request.session is reserved by this express session so um, the thing you saw here before this session automatically takes for itself so to speak this session property on the request and now I can set on this session property another property for example user and I can store it I just do a simple assignment and by default this is just stored somewhere in a, your application memory so when you restart the server it will be lost but for demonstration purposes it's fine but don't use it in production and then what we get is we just send to the browser a response of 200 and we send the user and we've deleted this password or password hash or whatever and this is so this is what the front end receives alongside of course with the cookie from the session and in the other case we deny it um, so you might also be interested in how this looks from the front-end perspective. 
So in the front end, we just say this do login when we receive it. So first we, we issue the post, of course, to this API login. And once we receive, um, and we also have to set this with credentials. And then when the backend responds, then I just say, okay, now I'm logged in. And if the password didn't match, for example, I will get a false. So this is basically this, what's happening here. Let me shut down the server again and restart it so we can see again what's happening here. Okay, I can log in. And now on a subsequent request, I'm just checking, am I log logged in? That's the get login request. And get login in the backend. Let's check what this was. Now get login, that's simply this here. We simply check, is there a user in the session? If yes, we'll say, okay, he's logged in. If not, logged out. So that's that for step two. We have a working login with in including that we um, stay logged in on a refresh. So pretty much a working login. Now we want to get to uh, get some more functionality working. Previously we were able to log in and now we'll also be able to log out again. By the way, I can also log in as Lily and if the password doesn't match, it says permission denied. I haven't demonstrated that yet, but that was all working previously. But what we added now is quite simple. So step three is almost nothing. We've just added this log out route. And what we're doing on log out is we are destroying the session. And we call session destroy. This is a predefined method, method on this session object from express session. And we pass it a callback and we say if there's an error, we just say, okay, could not log out for some ominous reason. And if it works, which it usually should, we're gonna respond with a status of 200 okay. And you see, we've added a logout. That's all that was in step three. Let's quickly check the front end for this. Logout does this, it just posts to API logout. And again, this with credentials is crucial because otherwise Express doesn't get it that it's the same client. So if you don't have this, it won't, Angular won't attach the cookie. And if the cookie is not attached, Express has no means of identifying that it's the same client and it will just give you a new session. And that's why if you delete this, and you're trying to log out and you refresh, you're still logged in. And that's because Express doesn't realize that it's this session it needs to delete. But now if I log out with this, it works. Now, last but not least, we are making this get account balance functionality working. So we see that Max has $53,000 and Lily, what's on her account? She has $4,000. And how did we achieve this? Well, let's check out. And there's a little bit of new code. What we see is that, let's start, let's start here. We have hard-coded again two account balances. For Max, we have those 53,000 and for Lily, we have those 4,800. And we have a method to get the balance, which is just it goes to this property and checks, okay, it takes an email, then it reads this and returns the actual value. And 
we can fetch this account balance at the API balance and since we don't want to return the balance just to any user and we would also not know what to do we need kind of an authentication middleware and for this we can also use the sessions and here what we'll do is just check okay the you we need a user in the session and if the user is in the session then it's fine and we will continue otherwise we'll throw an error and now what we'll have to do is we can we can just put this authentication middleware here and which means that if it works if this next is called we enter this block otherwise we'll never enter this block and the the client will receive an error message and once we do enter this block we'll just get the user from the session and we know there is a user in the session because that's what the auth middleware did and we'll get the balance of this user and if there is a balance then we are returning with a status of 200 and sending the balance to the front end and this is what makes this code work so if I refresh the page I'm still logged in because I haven't logged out and I can fetch the balance again pretty cool huh So thanks for watching, this is my first video tutorial, I hope you have enjoyed it.